Cool, so I just finished teaching yoga here at Newcastle for Live Life Get Active, um, an awesome incentive that the council do in the Newcastle area. We're actually looking for a new sponsor for the Newcastle location. We have like 12 to 14 people turn up for these yoga classes in town and if you are possibly interested in sponsorship then please personal message me or comment below and we'll get back to you. But I wanted to do a really uh, short and sweet like lunchtime slow flow um, that you can squeeze in almost anywhere. Um, an opportunity to create some space with breath and slow movement, uh, working a little bit of strength and um, just an opportunity as I said to pause in our busy days so that we have the, the choice to tune into what's going on and send our thoughts another direction if they're not serving us. So when we practice yoga, it is also a practice of the mind and the body. So giving ourselves permission to give back to ourselves is really important. And this is what this flow is all about. So if you have half an hour, I encourage that you roll out your mat and join me. That would be awesome. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy any of these practices. Let me know what it is you'd like to see and we'll go from here. So grabbing a mat, you're not going to need anything for this one today. And we're actually going to start standing to clear out some air. We're going to breathe. So feet underneath your hips and if it's been a bit of a shitty day, give yourself a little bit of a shake. Just allow the body to shake out. Don't be afraid to shake your legs, shake your arms, shake whatever feels good here. And just imagine that full sense of letting go. Then from here, breathe in. And breathe out. Three more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take a moment just to stand to notice how you feel. It's always so important to acknowledge our feelings and our emotions rather than run from them. There is so much to learn from what we can experience uh, from our emotions and our feelings, but allowing ourselves to be there with kindness and compassion and to give ourselves the space to learn from them and the ability to choose differently. So when you're ready, I'm gonna to come to the back of our mat today. And we're going to start by doing some roll downs. We're gonna tuck our chin to our chest, the belly to spine. We're slowly going to roll down our spine. When the hands hit the floor, we're going to walk all the way out. Bend the knees as much as you need. And we're coming to find our first downward facing dog. So the knees will bend. We're pressing the chest back towards the thighs. We're going to inhale, ripple through one vertebrae at a time and come to find a high plank. Now as you come to your high plank, Really engage through the core. We're going to start to drop the hips down and through the arms, stay straight, coming into floating up dog. You can always choose a child's pose here if you need. Press back through the hand, bend the knees, and then slowly exhale back to downward facing dog. Again, breathing in, ripple through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. As you exhale, start to drop the hips through, keep the arms straight, open through the heart, inhale. As you exhale, press back through the knees, and then lifting up, engage belly, down dog. One more time, breathe in, creating some beautiful spinal movement, especially if you're on your lunch break. So important to move our spine and to get ourselves out of this sitting that we tend to do so much. So, Give back to yourself. From your downward facing dog, we're going to tiptoe the feet all the way to the hand. Do this slow. Experience what you can feel. Bend the knees as much as you need. And we come to find our way to our forward fold. Take a breath in. Take a little half lift. Breath out. Soften. Come down two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. If you need to do that sequence again, please do. If not, inhale, half lift. As you exhale, plant the hands down, step back, high plank. Knees or toes, your choice. Shoulders protracted, belly to spine. Push back with your heels, quads are on. Take a full breath in 
And as you exhale, knees or toes, bend at the elbows, shift all the way forward. Again, a little spinal work here. Come onto fingertips, untuck your toes, breathe in, rolling cobra, breathe out, exhale. Breathe in, just to your degree. Breathe out, listen to your spine, be gentle. Breathe in, and breathe out. Tuck the toes, engage the belly, push back to knee or straight up high plank. Exhalation, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, breathe in. Bend and open, exhale. From here, bring knee to nose. Tiger curl, continue to roll forward. Come right on your back, tippy toes, knees to chest. Step the right foot through, drop the left knee down. Untuck the left toe, breathe in. Stay here for a few breaths. If you sit for a jog, make sure you come into this shape for one minute for every hour that you sit each side so that you're giving your hip flexors and your psoas muscle the opportunity to lengthen. Take one more full breath in. As you exhale, frame the front foot, tuck the chin slightly, step back to high plank. Exhale to low plank, knees or toes, maybe hover. Breathe in, cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down. Left leg, breathe in, press into the hands. These are your anchor. Breathe out, bend and open. Breathe in and then exhale, knee to nose, round the spine. Continue to come through slowly, like you're about to kiss your knee and then step. However you get there is fine. The left foot forward, drop the right knee down. Untuck the toe, breathe in. Stay for the exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, frame the front foot, tuck the toe. Chin comes in, step back, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Breathe in, cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down. Good, we're gonna keep moving as it's a lunchtime flow, so rest if you need to. Breathe in, right leg. Breathe out, bend and open. You're welcome to stay here if you like, or you can come onto your right fingertips. Breathe in to straighten. As you exhale, bring that right knee all the way through, head towards your left wrist. And then either stay here or keep it off the ground and thread through or touch down fallen triangle. Right wrist under right shoulder. Breathe in, bring the knee back, left hand down. Slowly start to open that right hip. And then coming all the way over or just under right fingertips, slowly allow yourself to place the right foot down. Straighten into that left leg, squeeze and open into your flip dog. Left wrist under left shoulder. Breathe in. As you exhale, engage the belly. Right leg comes all the way around. Slowly take the time, left hand down, right hand up, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Right hand comes down on inside of right ankle. Blade edge of left foot goes down. Parshvakonasana, side angle pose. Always rest your elbow on your knee here as well. Big deep breaths here, push through the feet, inhale. As you exhale, Skandasana. Again, a great one if you're sitting a bit. Now you can stay here. Some of you might like to come down here and you can either give the hands to the heart or maybe start to open up here. And it's gonna be quite challenging, so take where you need to be. Breathe. Take a breath in. As you exhale, slowly make your way back here. We're finding Virabhadrasana to Warrior Two. Right knee bends, left leg is straight. Plug down through the right heel. You should be able to see your right big toe. So gently nudge your right knee open slightly. Like your arms are energetic as if you're pushing energy down and your inner thighs are on and strong. Belly zipping to spine. I usually forget that one. Take a breath in. 
stay for your exhale. Transition is a little tricky, but let's have fun with this one. Lean forward, take a step, and then slowly tip forward. There's a green out hanging right from my big toe. And lift up that back leg as we come to find our airplane pose. And I'm getting quite distracted by this green out. We'll see how we go. Try not to hook in with your right toes. So almost try to loosen them here. And then I'm going to take my attention off the hand for a moment. Start to lift your head and roll your shoulders back here. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, bring your left knee in to meet your right. Chair pose, breathe in, belly to spine. Bring the hands to your back for a moment and press your spine into your hands. Maintain the action of the core. Bring the hands up, fingertips are extended here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, fold forward, plant the hands. Step or jump back, but if you jump, make sure you jump with the elbows. I like to take my time. Step back, high plank. Exhale. Hello, plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. See that on the other side. Breathe in, left leg. Exhale, bend and open. Either stay here or balance onto those left fingertips. Notice the opening. So there's lots of ants. When there's lots of ants, there's a storm coming, right? It definitely feels like there's rain on the way. Breathe in, straighten the leg. Now exhale, either come forward and stay here. Remember, this is your option with the left knee towards the right elbow or start to thread that foot through. You listen to what you need. Be safe and kind in your body here. It's not about achieving the shape. Always remember that. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the right hand down and either start to be where you were before, stay here, or left fingertips. Slowly experience the transition as you find your way to foot dog, right wrist under right shoulder. Breathe. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the chin back down, press through that right hand. Slowly bring that left knee all the way up and around. However you get there is fine. Left foot goes down, right hand down, left hand lifts, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Left hand to left ankle. Blade edge of right foot down. Pajokanasana, side angle pose, breathe in. Scoop up the left side of your waist, exhale. Good, inhale. As you exhale, bend into the right knee, standasana. So we're bending into that right knee, allowing ourselves to sit down. You stay where you are, I'm just changing sides so my bum's up to you. So bending into that standasana. Remember your option, this time maybe open your arms, bending into that right knee, left leg is straight. Take a full breath in, stay for your exhale, engage your belly, inhale warrior two, left leg bends, right leg is straight, arms are long, strong and pushing down. Look over your middle finger on your left, breathe in. Stay for your exhale. We've got that funky transition. So come onto your back tippy toes. Little step forward. Set up your Dekasana. Bending into that left knee. Keep it bent. Then draw the arms back. And if you've been sitting at a desk, interlace your hands maybe. And come to find your Dekasana airplane pose. Breathe in. And as you exhale, bring the right foot back to meet the left. Breathe in, chair pose. We're nearly there. As I said, it's a short, sweet little practice. Just a twist to finish. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, twist open to the right. Notice the twist to the torso. Knees stay together. And then hook your left elbow on your right knee. Really great one here for the internal organs digestion, especially if you've been sitting. Not great for our digestion, of course. Everything tends to get stuck. And if we're stressed at work, Everything else is going to get stuck there too. So a great one to massage through the internal organs. Don't forget to breathe. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward, forward. Let it go. Three breaths. You can always rest your elbows here if you need. Soft bend here. All right, breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, plant the hands, step back and flow. It's creating that little bit of movement here. Inhale, 
exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, jump, step or float between your hands. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, chair pose. Hands to heart, breathe in. As you exhale, start to turn your body to the left. Bring the right elbow over your left knee and twist here, breathe in. Stay for your exhale. Again, inhale, twist a little more. And exhale, forward fold. Wriggle your feet hip distance apart. Come down to find a squat. Use a block or anything if you need to. Use anything here in your office, use whatever, I don't care. Support yourself if you need. From here, push open your knees with your elbows, active squat, breathe in, breathe out, close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. For the rest of your day, breathe in how it is you'd like to feel, breathe out when you need to let go of any office, politics or gossip. Maybe it was your ride here this morning. Maybe somebody cut you off in traffic. Maybe it was something that happened last week or even last year. Breathe in how it is you want to feel from this moment. And breathe out, I choose to release something that you can let go of to create space. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, however you get there, find the ground. Might all the way down to your back, bend your knees. And then press through the soles of your feet. Inhale, come to find your bridge pose. You're welcome to stay here or plug down into the right foot. Lift up your left if you're after something active. Take three breaths here. Noticing how this feels in the glute and the hamstring. Place the left foot down. Start to lift up the right, holding for three full breaths here. Foot goes down, breathe in, open the heart a little more and breathe out, come all the way down to the ground. Leave your feet as they are, bring your arms to a cactus or out to the side, breathe in. As you exhale, let the knees fall to the left and your head turn to the right, supine twist. Try not to rush off here. This is the most important part of the practice. Let your mind just be you've given yourself the space and the time. Try not to worry about what's coming up next in your day. This is the only moment that matters. Breathe in, bring your knees back to the center. Breathe out, supine twist the other way. The practice of being present is exactly that, coming back to this next breath in. And this next breath out. If we get too caught up in our day, just come back to that. And practice that again and again and again. Inhale, bring the knees back to the center. And exhale, we find Shavasana. If you have been sitting again, you may like to bring the soles of your feet together. It's where I'm going to go today. And the knees drift out to the side, hand on belly, hand on heart. You are, of course, welcome just to lie flat. But again, I really encourage you not to rush off here. You won't be here for too long. While you're here, take a full cleansing breath in, how you want to feel. And a few solicits exhale, letting go of whatever you need to to create space.
starting to just deepen your neck breath in. And release completely your breath out. Gently just bring your knees back in if they're open, keep the knees bent, start to wiggle your toes, your fingers, and I really want you to say thank you here. Thank you to your physical body for allowing you to practice, take the space. Thank you to your mind for giving you permission to pause. Then just allow yourself to bend your knees to your favourite side and curl into a little ball here. And just stay with your eyes closed on the side of your body. Our quote today is from A Course in Miracles. And Gabby Bernstein shared this with us yesterday. And she says that you are not your body. You are not your body. You are not your body. We are just love. Whenever we find ourselves connecting to the things that we think own us or limit us, or a part of us, the way we look, what we wear, what we do for work, how we judge, what we define ourselves by. None of that owns us. So the more we detach from those things, it's okay to have them, but allow ourselves to detach and to realize that we will give our power back to us, not to those things. And that is exactly where we find space. Gently allow yourself to come up to seated, Allow yourself to roll your shoulders and know how you feel. Stay here for as long as you need to. Do not bring the thumbs to the space between your eyebrows, the space of our thought, as you honour where you put your attention to. So wherever our thoughts go, we strengthen those that we spend more time with. So spend time strengthening the ones that bring in kindness and compassion and gratitude, rather than the thoughts that sit in blame, shame, guilt, resentment, judgment, or criticism. So whenever we find ourselves there, do whatever we need to do to acknowledge that, be kind, and then choose differently instead. So with love and light, namaste. Oh, I hope you guys have a really rad day, afternoon, whatever it is in your world. Um, let me know what it is you would like to see. I would love for you to like and subscribe. Uh, and if any of you feel inclined, I'm heading to the South Coast in February on the 20th um, to give back a little bit to the community there by offering some free community yoga, meditation, mindfulness, um, a little bit of stillness uh, and opportunity to just be kind and look at what we do have. Um, I'm also wanting to raise 3000 or more for Treading Lightly. Uh, they're an incredible local organization that are doing amazing things on the South Coast. So if you feel inclined, please shoot me a message or jump on my Facebook or Instagram page to find the donation link for Treading Lightly. Um, thank you so much for your practice because when we all share this uh, energy of practicing and being kind, that's what spreads in the world and that's what the world needs. So namaste. Thank you.